Hey guys and welcome back to another video and today we want to jump one more time into the clan war league because we have still a couple of attacks over there and we want to go obviously perfect if it's possible but at the same time I want to get back to some feedback which I'm really happy for that you guys are always posting it in the comments and this feedback was about that recently the videos were maybe a couple of times too long and I wanted to say you, uh, tell you that basically I would always try to find a good mix in between of shorter videos which is like 10 to 15 minutes and the longer videos which are always like, like those match videos so I always try to find a good mix and I hope that you guys like it so always keep the feedback coming and let's get started with the first attack we're going to do a one walk and we want to get rid of the stupid air defense then we're going to use like something like a minion or some something like that at the bottom side to help our warden to push through the to the right side of the base. Then we're going to wall break into the base and it's going to be in the end basically a Pekka smash. Um, because I just think it's so powerful right now that I don't know, it's crazy. It's really, really powerful. And I can just tell you guys, if you do not like hybrid at the moment, try this as well. We're going to let, let the, the blimp fly across to make sure that we are catching it uh, we are catching it with the warden ability and that's already pretty much it like it's a pretty simple plan warden walk into like Pekka smash and a blimp into the town hall it's pretty classic we're not facing any sweepers with our blimp whatsoever so this should be pretty safe so we're starting off with the warden which is a pretty safe way we try to place it kind of far on the right side because as i said we want to get rid of the air defense that's the main target which we're going for and as long as we get the air defense Everything is alright, but this air defense needs to go down, otherwise our healers have no chance to survive. So, this is the first thing which you're looking for. The minion so far is doing a great job, already cleared the entire barracks, which is a couple of shots for the warden, which at the end of the story is going to be, well, a couple of seconds off the clock, which is always a big deal, because we all know time fails our thing. <laughs> so, really, really nice minion over there. And now the Warden is going for the Elixir um, Collector. It should go for the Air Defense next, which is awesome. And it's actually going for the Air Defense. So we have around about 40, se uh, 40 seconds um, gone, which is completely fine, to be honest. Now we're sending in the Super Wall Breakers. I'm sending in two because I wanted to open up the um, 12 o'clock compartment as well. Even though it's open at the top side, Wall Breakers are stupid and they're sometimes doing some random things. So the second Wall Break is actually working. That's perfect for us. Now the Warden ability, everything is going in or at least most of the things are going in. And with most, I mean not too many, sadly. But still, the Blimp is making it to the Town Hall. I'm raging it up over there, so that's alright. Now I'm having one more Rage. And to be honest, at this point, it's basically a queen charge through the base. At the same time, we have at the top sides a couple of P.E.K.K.A. with witches and whatsoever. So it's a kind of funny situation where everything walked but my queen. And this means that the queen is going to charge the entire base because the expos are gone. Because we had a really awesome Yeti blimp on the right side. Which means the entire town on side is already gone except the Tesla farm which is randomly in front of that. But it's alright, like the Tesla farm can be taken down because we just now place our Royal Champion, which is helping now with the back end, hopefully. The Queen has her ability left, we still have the Freeze left, and this is looking really damn good for us. I mean, I'm placing the minion just time-wise onto, um, onto the gold storage. We know that there are no like traps for air because already the Blimp and the Coco Loons and the Healers went that way, so that's alright. Now, we still have the Baby Dragon, which we can play somewhere. I'm, I'm really, I, I know that I'm going to catch a Black Man, but I just tried to tank. Yep, it was so obvious. I'm just trying to tank with the Baby Dragon for the, for the Royal Champion. Didn't work out that great. Either way, this is going to be a crushing overkill 3-star, and that's what we wanted. So let's go. First attack is in. First 3-star is in as well. And we have two more attacks to go. So let's hope for the best outcome, which we could hope for. And I mean, so far it's looking pretty good. The war is looking pretty good overall. We are uh, four to zero triples basically. Uh, we are four out of seven, which is pretty decent as well. And um, well, we have more attacks to do. So let's get into that. Let's do the second attack in here as well. Let's hope for the same result. So, um, so a couple of more things happened. Uh, we actually got a one star, which is pretty unfortunate especially in a war like this because this war is deciding if we're going to get promote, uh, promoted or not so that's quite unfortunate to be honest but 
Either way, let's get to the next attack. And since this war is so important, I mean, let's just use the strongest army in the game. Let's just use the strongest army in the game, which is the Blizzard Lalo. And I have, like, I think a pretty good idea on what we're going to do. So the plan is to send in one hound onto this air defense and then send in the blimp in behind to get on top of this builder hut. We do not want to get on top of the bomb tower. That will be kind of scary for our... Well, that would be kind of scary for our super wizards. But if we're getting on top of the bomb uh, of, on the on the builder hut, that should be all right. That should be no problem for the super wizards, and they should survive. The next thing I'm going to find on the top left side, and then walking with my heroes, which is the king and the queen, into the town hall, getting rid of that town hall, and then the Lalo around the top side. So what we want to get the entire left side should be taken out by now. Maybe we have the royal champ have to use the royal champion. Maybe not. It kind of depends. It depends on. Um, how the um, how do we say the how, how the traps are set up like if there's a Tesla farm at the bottom side etc so we have to wait for that so the royal champion is basically basically depending on how the attack goes that's that's how it looks like so attack is set army is set I'm ready so let's go and well we have a couple of more final troops because I have to say this sui has to work otherwise I have I don't know how we should get the town on because the sweepers are there as well, protecting the tunnel. We have no chance to get the town hall if the heroes are messing up the sewers. So that's that's kind of scary, but let's see. So we're starting off with the hound, then the blimp right in behind. So this is looking good for now. Actually, no black mines whatsoever, so that's great. The visibility spell, open up the blimp. We're not close to the bomb tower, which means this should be all right. Next invisibility spell. Super wizards are doing their thing. The bomb tower did not kill our wizards, which is awesome. I always appreciate bomb towers, which are not killing my super wizards. And this so far looks awesome. Now we have to place the king just to make sure that the king is walking um, into the town hall because that would be pretty important to go there. King is walking there. Um, so f wait a second. No way. I was too early with the king. The king is walking the wrong way. This is now going to be scary. This is now going to be really scary because we get... We, I already told you, we need to get the town hall. We need to get the town hall down. Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> what was the... What, I, what did I do? What did I do? Okay, saving everything. That's the goal now. Saving the two star and then maybe chances for three star. Okay, this guy is actually having a super mini clan castle. Which is awesome for us. It's this is the best thing which could actually happen for, uh, to us. The super mints are actually on our queen. This is one of the worst things which could have happened to us uh, at the same time. So, ooh, we have two more freezes. We have two more freezes which we have to like hope for that someone need, we we get the town hall. The royal champion is helping. The queen is on zero HP. We have to freeze the town hall again. Oh my god! Please take down the town hall, please, heroes, do it. Thank goodness. Okay, the town was down. So at least we got the second star. But now it's all about the third star. Maybe we can even get that. Okay, so loons are in. Howl is in as well. The super minion is in as well. I think we do not need to use the warden ability for the headhunter because the headhunter is like one-shotting the queen because the queen was already low due to our king. So that was great. Now the next hound is coming in. We still have two more loons. I'm trying to save the loons at this point. I'm ha I have to place the loons on the outside because the stupid archer tower is shooting all of my loons on the inside. The scatter is really scary. Shot a huge group of loons in the beginning. Now the hound is tanking. Now we have to use the warden ability. I think it was a pretty good timing. 40 seconds left. 40 seconds left. Can we actually make this is the question. One more super war breaker to deal a tiny bit of damage to the back end defenses. We have no more spells. We have a couple of minions. And I think we actually saved this attack from being zero star to a three star. This, this was so close. Like, I don't know what I was thought. I didn't even think about the funneling of my king. I didn't even think about the option that my king could walk this way. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but this was not good. Either way, we got the three star. Everything is all right. <laughs> So, whew, lucky me, we got the next three, th uh, three star on our list. But guys, we have one more attack to do, and that's in my community clan, because, like, as always, we have to do three attacks um, daily. And, well, I think we should jump over there, see what it, see what it looks like over there. So far, this, this war looking, is looking good for now, but let's jump over to my community clan and see what we're doing over there. So, 
Enemies are doing pretty good, sadly. Uh, we haven't really started too much yet. So let's get started with this base. We did so far like one Pekka Smash, we did one uh, Blizzard Lalo, and I want to do one Queen Charge um, as well because I just love Queen Chargers. And the big weakness of this base, I feel like, is this topside compartment, like this, this setup. Um, to abuse this, I want a Queen Charge in there, and to, well, kind of get there, I need to funnel. So I do a Yeti Blim for the left Inferno Tower, then I do a funnel at the top left side, and then a Queen Charge into the Town Hall, basically. And then I can hybrid from the right side and keep wall breaking my queen in. That's basically the entire idea of this. And I hope it works because, I mean, the great setup of this is I can easily wall break into the elixir storage, which is awesome for us. But let's see. Let's see. I just hope for the best. I mean, we just saved this unsavable attack. So I just hope I can triple this base with hybrid. So let's see. First off, army boost because we have a non max giant. <laughs> Let's just do it. I mean, <laughs> whatever. So, first off, the loons, then the uh, the blimp. Okay, the loons are already going the wrong way. Let's just risk it. Okay, no black mines for now. Raging it up. So, I take down the enemy royal champion. I take down the inferno tower. This is looking great. The minion is doing his thing over there. Then the wizard at the top left side because, like, like I said, I wanted to funnel. Um, and now the queen. The queen is supposed to take down the top side and obviously the clan castle. Please don't, like, no super minions, please. No super minions. Thank you. Okay, there are no super minions in there, which is awesome for us because I freaking hate super minions. I think you know by now. Um, but either way, Queen is taking down the headhunters, so that's that's great. Now she is taking down the fern tower, which, uh, the, uh, the ice golem, which takes some time, but it's still right. And then we can easily wall break into the elixir storage because the arch tower compartment, like the arch tower cannon, arch tower compartment is open, which is huge for us because this means, well, my queen can just easily walk in there. It's like such an easy pathing. Um, and so far we didn't caught too many black mines, which is okay. We caught one black mine by now. The war, uh, the e, uh, I don't know what is wrong with my words today, but my words right now are awfully wrong. Um. The Yeti actually took down the Arch Tower. We can we can save. No, we have to use the Rage now because the town is going to be active in a second. Then the King, then the Hybrid in as well. The King is getting targeted by the Eagle. That was what I was waiting for because I do not want to have the um, the 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 Eagle onto my Hybrid because that would be pretty bad. Uh, now setting in everything uh, here spell obviously. Uh, that was pretty late, but it should be all right. The queen is doing her thing. She should hopefully now get into the core because that will be great. Wait, no, queen! Oh, God. The queen is going for the skeletons. Now she's not going for the skeletons. <laughs> what is my queen doing? Can someone explain to me what my queen... Like, what the heck? And I wanted to use the warden ability, but I used the royal champion ability apparently. But either way, it still looks pretty decent to be honest. We're saving the headhunter for the enemy king. That's the next thing what I'm doing. The only thing which is kind of scary is time. We have 40 more seconds and we know hybrid is tending to be really slow at the finish line. Freezing the wizard tower and the eagle I think was a great idea, but still the wizard tower at the top that is really bad, especially with my queen going through the wrong wall. The archer tower, tower, like the archers at the top are, are great I think because they're taking down the elixir storage, but this is getting so insanely close. I mean 20 more seconds. 20 more seconds. The Royal Champion needs to stay alive. If the Royal Champion is staying alive, she can take down the Wizard Tower and this should be an easy triple. Okay, she's staying alive. There are, okay, no more ground skeletons, which is awesome. And this should be actually a three star. I don't care how this got the triple, but in the end it was a three star. So that's what everything what counts. The perfect legend day for us and the perfect clan war day for us. And uh, well, that's awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed today's attacks. Um, I we tried some different strategies. I was really happy that we were able to save the Blizzard Lalo attack. That was kind of scary, but either way, in the end, we got the three stars done, and that's a great start into the into the war for us. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as well, because well, that would be awesome. <laughs> I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next video. Until then, see you guys, and bye bye.